And we take a step from there even further into maximize conversion value. Now, this takes a step even further into the conversion world where you're not just getting conversions. Your level of of data is even higher. The integrity of your data is even higher. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is, if conversions are rare, maximize conversion value is a diamond. You know I mean? It just, it's, it's, it's the rarest of all. And you can have conversions and not have this. So essentially what conversion, uh, a ma maximize conversion value means is the number of conversions are not factored in. Instead, if a phone call is worth a $200 value to you and a lead form estimate quote is worth $600 to you, it's going to optimize more for the lead form, which is worth more. The value is in that conversion type. This is absolutely something that e-commerce people should use. Mm. Max maximize conversion value because if you just use maximize conversions for e-commerce... Um, it might sell a whole bunch of door knockers, you know, but actually what you, that's an accessory to the doors that you sell door knocker, door, door, door knockers are 50 bucks, but your doors are seven, you know, $700. You don't want to optimize for these little bitty conversions. They look good on the cost. For $700 for a door. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Maybe in 1995. I don't have inflation these days. I have people that hey, buy Chris, things. Do you have me. people in your life that bring up inflation every time you bring up a product or service? My wife. Yeah. I've got people in my life too that do that. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, it, it is work, what it is. Yeah. I'll work harder. Yeah. I don't know. I don't what know am what I going to do about it? Yeah. I mean, I, I still want a new pair of shoes, you know, still need a new door and a door knocker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> door knocker. <laughs> I still need a new car. Uh, but yeah, that's conversion value. Now, Jason, yes. what are your thoughts on maximized conversion value? I I think it's uh, I like it more than than maximized conversions because if you're going to be running max, the only reason you're running max conversion value or conversion value with a, I would have a target return on ad spend there. That's that's the 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 option that you can do, uh, like plus one hundred percent, plus five hundred percent, whatever. Um, what I, what I like about that is, uh, if you're choosing that option, you have all your conversion tracking data in place, you know what you're doing with that. And that to me is the best time for the system to, to run is when you have all that data, um, in place. I I've seen that less because less people have all of that, especially the value of what lead conversions are. Cause I'm mostly in the lead generation space, but this is what I do manually. I look at what is what is a product or service worth that we're selling revenue from it? How many leads does it take to get one of those product or services sold? Then what is my cost per lead? What is my value per lead for each lead? And then what return do I want to make when I pay a cost per lead to get that value per lead? That went over 99% of people's heads, but for the one people, percent of people that are going to get that and the other 10 percent that are going to study and figure it out one day that's the absolute secret to google ads is that process yep. and that's what i do with manual bidding when all the data is in place and so yeah i'm going to be very open to an automated strategy and seeing how that performs when everything is in place um and it's a it can be a beautiful strategy and then it's just like everything with automated and manual test it. Does it work as good as manual? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't, but you can decide. But the overall point here, Chris, is that is the diamond, the gold standard, whatever gold you standard. want to call it, the yep. gold standard of Google ads. That is perfect Google ads. And so I have to be open to it. Let me, let me say, let's say you are one of those companies that spends somewhere between a hundred and a billion dollars a month. And you are getting conversions um, and company A spends the same amount and they're just tracking conversions, no conversion value. Company B is tracking conversions with conversion value. And they both see the same number, same number of conversions, same number of everything. Company B with that conversion value would notice 
that the conversion value return is starting to drop, even though their conversions are going up. They would be able to see that in the numbers very quickly. Oh, they're going to run circles around company A. Company A is going to see conversions going up and they're going to optimize for that conversion going up. And then their sales team months down the line will say, something's happening. We're not closing as many, you know, or we're, we're, we're not as profitable. The books quarter by quarter start to go down. They won't be able to spot it. That's why it's the gold standard is because you can see things that other companies won't be able to see because it's based on value and not just raw numbers. Gold standard, 100%. A lot of lead generation companies or a lot of companies out there that get leads, Chris, service companies, I should say. Uh, I ask them for this process. They don't give me numbers. Oh, we, no. we really haven't done that. We really don't yeah. know. And I tell them, hey, ballpark's better than nothing. We need this. They don't give it to me. And Chris, Frank, speaking frankly, in business, not in Google Ads Major, I'm going to get you the best results I can. But in business, that's an unacceptable answer. Uh, yeah. You have to know your numbers. And uh, it can take a very... Uh, powerful platform like Google Ads, the most powerful form of advertising in the world, what I call performance advertising, it can take it to a level you can't even imagine. 